Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another Giants update video. Uh, now listen, today we got we got some some leaks I guess you could say out of the Giants camp. I'll be talking about uh, Tristan Wirfs, the Iowa offensive tackle and the reports by guys like Ralph uh, Vacciano of uh, SNY Sports New York. Uh, the SNY, uh, basically the organization. I was gonna say newspaper, but I think they're more than just a newspaper. And um, Rob Vacchiano, for those of you that don't know, he was the guy that uh, last year was one of the first reporters that, you know, stated the Giants were interested in uh, Daniel Jones and that the Giants were gonna take Daniel Jones at six overall. And the year before, he also uh, was one of the first people to ever state that the Giants were interested in Saquon Barkley or that they loved Saquon Barkley and whatnot. So. For the past two years at least he's had a um, a good track record with when it comes to these things and players that, Gi that the Giants organization loves or that the Giants organization wants to take and in general he has a good you know he has a good reputation as a uh, reporter be reporter for the Giants we'll see how this pans out but I'm also gonna be uh, giving my opinion a little bit on the fact that the Giants will send the entire staff to the 2020 NFL combine which I think would also affect this report of Tristan Wirfs right here so let's get into Tristan Wirfs. Uh, for those of you who do not know or you know, maybe want a little refresher, he is the offensive tackle out of Iowa. He's, uh, I think he's a junior right now. He's 6'5", 322 pounds. Offensive tackle for Iowa. If I'm not wrong, he played right tackle for like the first two or three years um, at the college before playing left tackle a little bit this past year. Whatever the case may be, he's mostly been a right tackle his entire career. And people regard him as one of the top five offensive linemen in the draft. In my personal opinion, and it's actually something uh, held by, you know, a good amount of people out there, is that there's really only three, uh, I guess, top tier offensive linemen in this draft. And, you know, I guess those three are gonna be gone within the top 15 picks, maybe even top 10. For me, those guys are Andrew Thomas, Makai Becton, and Jedrick Wills. I've talked about all these guys before in multiple videos in my um, draft scenario video and in my, my thoughts on Isaiah Simmons videos where I focus on them heavily. My personal favorite is Andrew Thomas. If we had, if we were at the fourth overall pick and we still had all offensive uh, tackles to choose from, I would go Andrew Thomas probably over everybody else. And Tristan Wirfs, um, I'm not saying that he's a bad player or anything and I guess this is kind of a no brain disclaimer that should go without me actually saying it. I'm no expert, so I can't tell the future, you know, I'm not Miss Cleo in the words of Joe Judge, this is just my opinion on these guys, and I, I can be wrong, I can be completely wrong, completely off base, what happens like five years from now with these players could be completely different from what I say I think would happen. You know, that goes without saying, it's a, it's a disclaimer that doesn't really need to be put out there, it's just my opinion, right? Well, I think that Andrew Thomas is going to be the best tackle out of all these guys. For me, he's the, he's the most well-rounded prospect out there, and he's the... He's the perfect package for the Giants in terms of pass protection and run blocking. Uh, Tristan Wirfs is outside that top three for me. I did speak about taking him before, but in that scenario, I had him, you know, still being available in the second round with our second round pick. Uh, if we were to take some defensive player like an Isaiah Sims in the first round, I would get Tristan Wirfs in the second round if he's still there. But he's been rising up draft boards and now he's considered part of what from what has become the big three to now the big four of the offensive tackles in the draft and he could be gone in the first round it's very possible um now then going over a bit of Worf's uh, positives real quick he's good in pass protection uh he could definitely improve there really good with footwork his length you know his wingspan all that meets the desired you know requisite length for to be playing on the outside he has really good balance and has really good control of his bot over his body in space and is actually probably one of only two or three offensive linemen in this draft class that can get up to the second level at a you know at a high you know producing level he's shown improvement in each of his three years at iowa you know he's uh, worked on his game in each offseason clearly and he seems to have become smarter in general with the game of football and he's kind of built to really be put up against the power rushers the bull rushers of the nfl uh, that's what he's kind of really what he's uh, built to be at right now. He needs to work on, and I guess we're kind of getting into the cons, on the flexibility in his bottom half a little bit more. He needs to get uh, deeper in his stance, you know, so that he could twist a little bit more, so that he could get lower, and that's so that he could actually combat the speed rushers of the NFL, which there is a good amount of speed rushers now. And now, so some people do consider him, you know, a plug-and-play player 
from this draft right here they do think that you could draft him and put him right in there at a tackle position right away some believe that he's gonna be a guard and that's where he should shine and would shine best at the nfl level whatever the case may be i would look to you know putting him at right tackle first you know if not only if he was taken to the giants which is definitely a position of need for our team and it would be great if we have a plug and play right tackle to start the season but for any team i mean this is where he has the most experience at this is where he's improved upon for every single year in his college career rad this is where he's this is the the position he's played at basically for all time if you were to move him definitely wouldn't be to the left tackle side and i would agree it would be to put him inside a little bit make him a guard but i would first try to see how he works out at right tackle now getting back to the reports here with uh rob vacciano saying that in fact the giants are already lo love iowa tackle tristan Wirfs, according to an nfl source familiar with the giants thinking and they have been in expressed similar interest in Alabama's Jedrick Wills. Both of them are widely considered among the top four offensive line prospects in this year's class, and they will get a good look at the entire league at the NFL scouting combine from Indianapolis next week. Now then, specifically on Werfs, I think not only does this mean they, you know, they if they really love this dude, Gettleman would possibly reach and take him. And for me, it's a reach. Like I said, I don't think he's in that top three alignment. I believe we could I'm not saying he would drop to the second round, but he's definitely going to be around there in the late first round, which leads me to my next point. This could be a sign that the Giants are looking to trade down with somebody. They could possibly be looking to trade down with Miami, who would be like the best scenario out of all the trade downs ever. You'd probably, you'd get obviously the um, fifth overall pick and they'll probably give you their late first round pick, which is where they might look to take Wirfs and they might take, you know, Simmons with that fifth overall, whatever the case is. But in my opinion, this is a sign that they may trade down. Whether it's to somebody close like Miami or whether it's towards the middle of the first round where you would still get worse, I definitely believe that. Maybe the Raiders are something who also have multiple first round picks and they, they pick towards the middle of the first round. Whatever the case may be, I think this is a sign that the Giants are looking to trade down. And this might be a message to teams, you know, it's a subtle message out to teams that, hey man, call us with your offers. Or it could be a smoke screen. Whatever the case is, it should be taken very seriously because the last couple times Bakiano came and said the Giants love this player, it was our our number one overall pick. And given uh, Dave Gutman's record, or not really record, but how he's done with the NFL draft so far, I'm definitely inclined to trust whoever he chooses, even though I don't agree with it, I'll, I'll go with it. Now getting to the combine, which I did mention at the end here in the quote that I wrote out that, you know, the entire league will get a better look at everything at the combine. The Giants are sending everybody, or I guess you should say Joe Judge is sending the entire staff, coaching staff, uh, and the guys, you know, the scouts in the front office to the NFL combine. And when I heard this, the first thing I thought was, they got space for that? Y'all got, y'all renting out like a whole side of Lucas Oil Stadium or something? Like, that's the first thing that came into my mind. But there's, uh, it's confirmed now that Joe Judge, you know, is basically every single guy in the coaching staff from the head coach down to the assistant coaches you know all the scouts of course dave gunman and stuff is going to be there literally everybody possible <laughs> that can be there will be there uh is what it's looking like and this is good i mean there's nothing bad about this you know of course if it works out with everybody's schedule and whatnot this is probably the best way to do things i there's definitely a way it could go all wrong it could get hectic i mean having that many heads in one room talking about all these players there's gonna be like disagreements all over the place for sure but at the same time now you're gonna get everybody's opinion on everything and usually the head coach does go with the general manager to the to the um the combine you know it's usually the head coach uh sometimes a defensive coordinator but definitely off some offensive assistants are there but now since you have everybody there you got an opinion from everybody they could be like hey yo we like that uh wide receiver out of notre dame uh, you know, Judge could say that, then next thing you know, Jason Garrett's like, yeah, he's good, but I would like somebody a little bit more lengthy for, you know, the scheme I'm going to run. And then next thing you know, the wide receivers coach, Tyke Tolbert, is like, don't worry about it. I'll got him. I'll teach him how to jump high enough. Whatever the case is, there's nothing really bad that could come out from this. And it definitely shows a united front. And I mean, that's kind of been one of the main messages of the new, uh, the new Giants, even though we're not that new. But since Gettleman take over, I'll say that. It's been something that he's been trying to push both with Shermer and with Judge now that they're working, you know, together hand in hand. They're both trying to push kind of that more togetherness, that united front that, you know, it's all about the team and not about the individual type of message out there. And this is definitely a way to do it. Like I said, I don't see anything bad coming from this. And maybe through the combine, uh, we'll 
we'll get some other reports as to whether or not they still love Tristan Wirfs. Maybe everybody gets the gets the side of him and uh, they come to agreement that, hey, he's good, but he's not that good. Or it's just a report about it being reaffirmed. And sometimes, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, when Dave Gellman's made up his mind, he's made up his mind. He's taken who he wants. And for us, it's worked out better than working out for the worst. So I'm fine with it. But that's what I got for you all today. You know, talking about Trish and Wurst a little bit and the NFL Combine. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about uh, this Iowa offensive tackle? Do you think we should take him? Do you think, like me, it's a sign that we're trading down? And what do you think about the entire staff going to the Combine? That's it for today. I'm out. Your hi guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Your